What's up YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for tuning in for another TCG video on my channel. As you know, on my channel you always get the latest news and the latest deck list in town. So be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out. And the World Championships have been concluded. Uh, last weekend actually was the World Championships. I watched uh, a lot of live stream uh, things. You can also uh, re-watch them on the official Pokemon uh, channel. Definitely check that. It should be in the description below. If not, you should uh, definitely let message me. I'll definitely give you the link. The matches were crazy and uh, who came out on top? It was of course Robin Schulz. Uh, he is from Germany and he was playing Zoroar Garboder against Molomar in the final. So that was a very fun match to watch and he came out on top winning the entire thing. So World Championships are always like the uh, the peak of, of course, uh, the Pokemon trading card game season. So uh, we are going to check out all the deck lists from juniors, seniors and even the masters. So uh, everything uh, is going to be in this video. First things first, we're going to go with the winning list. Zoroark Garboder. What do we see here? Nothing too uh, out of the blue here. We do see a uh, Zoroark line for four line, very standard at almost every Zoroark build. We see one ability lock and then two trash lines. Trash lines was very, very helpful and it can be powered up, of course, with the unit energy, which, which is in here. Very similar to the Nationals uh, winning list uh, that uh, the St Steven Ivanov uh, played as well. So very interesting to see. Cartana that can use Blade Jack. We've seen this a lot at streams. Using Cartana to just even up the prizes where, uh, let's say, you only need to take three more prize cards well you use Cartana get one prize card and then knock out a GX so that is what it usually uh, take uh, to win the game and also with this list you have just full control if the opponent plays too much items Garbodor comes around if they play too much abilities Garbodor with the ability block comes around Zorark is just very consistent you can use straight and now you say if you shut down your abilities it's bad well Nothing more is true, you can just shut down the ability after you've done trade so you're in a better position. And you also have three field blowers in the list. What is else is uh, interesting, three Evo Soda. So he definitely wanted to have, of course, his uh, stage ones out. These are uh, all stage ones. So you needed to have that first turn Bridget, three copies of that in there. And then only two Guzmas, which is kind of surprising, but you do have, of course, the puzzle of time to get back the Guzmas. So uh, in most cases, that was uh, not uh, very, uh, yeah, very bad to have two Guzmas because most of the times you just want to trade, 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 and you'll definitely get into your resources. Uh, Parallel City was kind of huge, uh, uh, very great against the mirror matches in Zoroark builds and also it makes sure that you can get rid of Shrine of Punishment which was everywhere. The deck, Baby Boswell, Garboder, uh, Trash Lines of course, the one with uh, that and the Shrine of Punishment was a very great deck and that saw a huge amount of play and uh, that's why there's a couple of Parallel Cities in here together of course with uh, three field blowers so a very very consistent list all around and the most a peculiar thing is town map. This player always plays town map in order to know what he's going to take from the prize cards. And if you have knowledge to what you're gonna pick uh, after a KO, you are gonna be uh, ahead in the game. So that is uh, what he does. And oh, only one rescue stretcher and enhanced hammer together with Cartana Jax is just very fantastic. So that was the winning list. Let us check out in the master division what came second. It was Jeff uh, Kolonak. I uh, sorry if I mispronounced the names, it's uh, very difficult for me. I am not a native uh, English speaker, but we're just gonna go into the list here. We are gonna see a 4-4 four, four line of Inke, uh, actually of Molomar. Two Marshall to Jax. This Marshall to Jax is crazy. It can use uh, the uh, attacks from every basic Pokemon in the discard pile. And we've seen it use a current kind, of, kind of crazy things because, of course, there is a Dawnwings uh, uh, Necrozma Jax in here. And then uh, the Marshall uh, uses that Jax move to become invincible. We've seen that. A Marshall definitely takes uh, uh, quite the punch against Zoroark, knocking them out in one shot. There's a Lunala Prism, Prism Star in here for a single energy. You can just uh, yeah, attach a ton of energies if you're Molomar to discard. Mimikyu as a tick car, attack card. We have have Giratina because Corninja actually believe it or not was very great at the world championships we have Oranguru and Strong only one Tapu Lele peculiar and then Mewtwo Jax to just go through a bunch of opponents let's say if they're facing Zygarde you can just go through Zygarde if they're using the uh, Moon Eclipse Jax you can go through that so that was the list a bunch of one-offs as you can see a 4-4 four, four Malamar and then a ton of ones up together with two Marshmallows so he was definitely expecting a ton of Zoroark which was definitely the case and then uh, for consistency purposes four Sycamore four Cynthia three Goose and then one Lily. That one copy of Lily is great because four Mysterious Treasure and four Ultra Ball will definitely make sure your hand is empty at the early phase of the game. And that first turn, Lily draws you a ton of cards. Four Float Stones, three Acrobikes. Very solid because Acrobike has uh, not been around for long. So uh, it has been reprinted from the Primal Clash yet. But now Acrobike is back in the standard format. And Acrobike uh, got its way into this list to just uh, get rid of those uh, Psychic Energies early game. There's 10 Psychic Energies in total and then uh, two Max Elixirs. And that is the list actually. So very interesting to see. 
And uh, then uh, the third place winning list, Zygar. What you wanted to see here? Zygar is crazy. Uh, yeah, what do we see? Do we see any bunnies? Da -da 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 -da. If you watch the stream, no, no bunnies at all. It's just Zygarde coming in, of course, with a DCE. And if you have a DCE, you can use that cell connector, set itself up, and then destroy Zoroark turn after turn. So that's why Zoro, uh, Zygarde was very, very great. Uh, we also have Lycanroc in here, amazing GX move. If you have not uh, yeah, used the GX move of Zygarde, you can also uh, make sure you can have, of course, the Dangerous Rogue at your disposal. We also have Oranguru to draw cards. Boswell GX is in here and Baby Boswell, Regirock and Dianti. So Regirock and Dianti is a must in order to hit the numbers. That way uh, you deal 180 with the choice band 210 to dispose of things like, um, yeah, what does have 210 HP? Think about yeah, Galicepal, if we're, although you're weak to grass, you can get rid of that Galicepal with Verdict GX, so that's why Regirock and Dianti Prism are in here. We do see the the yeah the usual stuff, what is uh, peculiar in here, there's uh, two Brooklyn Hill and then two Scorched Earth. With Scorched Earth, you could make sure that you can draw a card, so more consistency, uh, besides that only one Oranguru, so uh, only one Tapu Lele again, so not a lot of Tapu Lele have been played because a lot of people think they are fragile. Tapu Lele is only great and a ton of decks that need to have that first turn. Bridget, other than that, if you just uh, decide to run a ton, ton of Tapu Lilies, you'll start with it and they are gonna target it. But Tapu Lilies is still one of the best GXs in town. So what do you see Zygarde making its way to third place? Crazy. Next up, Spain. Uh, it's going to be Pedro Eugenio Torres. I uh, think that's pronounced correctly. And uh, the one from Singapore was Clive of Jumin. Okay, the one from Spain, the fourth place winning list is Raquaza. This is good. That was a crazy match where he had to just, uh, if you have the, watch the half, uh, the, um, yeah, half finals, it was crazy. Rokoiza did some crazy things where he just used, uh, he had three Guzmas in the hand and he had to rely on things uh, to just, he didn't want to use Tempest Jax to get rid of it and he almost dacked out here. It was kind of interesting to see. What do you see for Rokoiza? Uh, you of course know him with the Stormy wins. To Marshall, this uh, let loose uh, Marshall just was uh, very OP. We've seen it before, you use the Smackdown, the, uh, the let loose Marshall, then uh, you have the choice. Uh, you may choose to have each, each player shuffle their hand into their deck and draw four cards. So basically, a draw supporter. So you can just play out your hand completely, smack down the Mara Shadow and you're, you're good to go. Also against things that you're weak to, let's say a Garbodor with a value lock, you can also do some stuff. You can maybe use uh, Let Loose on the early phase of the game and then they're locked out of the game if they don't have a draw supporter. Very interesting strategy. Again, only one Tapu Lele and then uh, there's a uh, Oranguru to draw cards and Circuitry was kind of crazy with Lightning GX. Then a 7-7 seven, seven, uh, uh, split between Grass and Lightning Energies. We've seen this a ton. Uh, for Guzma, for Sycamore, for Mysterious Treasure, for Max Elixir, of course. The usual stuff, Acrobike. So this is a speedy Rayquaza uh, list with three choice bands. So no Fighting Fury Belt. It's going very speedy and then making sure you get the one hit KOs. Interesting indeed. Next up is another Rayquaza list, very similar. We also see Marshadow once again, but then there's also Tapu Coco GX with the interesting Tapu Thunder GX that can come out of nowhere. Two Tapu Lilies in this list and then Latias Prism Star. Uh, what else might you see in this list? Again, these are uh, very uh, straightforward things. Not Choice Band, he promoted uh, the Fighting Fury Belt, he chose for that option, but the rest is pretty similar. You need the Rescue Stretcher, you need the Pal Pad and Super Odd uh, eventually, because you're gonna discard a ton of cards, and there's also Parallel City in this list. So, uh, kind of more a defensive build, because you're going uh, with the Fighting Fury Belt, not with the Choice Band, and with the Parallel City. Next up, we are gonna have Nicholas uh, Galas from Chile, and uh, he is going to run Boswell like a rock. We've seen this a bazillion amount of times before. Uh, there's nothing I can say that uh, you have not uh, heard before on the channel. B strings, choice bands, Max Elixir, so uh, the straightforward Boswell list. Next up from Japan, Chuto Hakagi. He uh, ran Rokoiza, so three uh, Rokoiza decks in the top eight of the Master Division. Wow, that is crazy. Uh, you also see again the Tapu Goku GX here. He ran an extra grass energy, so an extra energy, of course, because you have access to Tempest GX, so he uh, promoted an extra uh, grass energy. And uh, besides that, also Parallel City. And do I see Choice Bands? I don't think, yeah, two, two copies of Choice Bands. And then, uh, yeah, one copy of Fighting Fury Belt. So he decided to split between both. Uh, okay, interesting. And then the uh, eighth list is going to be Zoroark Galicepal from Brian Miller from the United States. So Zoroark, again, and this list, three Tapu Lele and a Zoroark build. You always need Tapu Lele. You have access to, of course, a lot of great supporters. You have uh, Acer Rolla to just get your Pokemon back in the hand. You have Guzmas to get out and four copies of Bridget. 
this guy definitely one of the fourth co copy of uh, Bridget to have that first turn Bridget to set yourself up and it paid off at uh, eighth place for winning list Brian Miller with four Bridgets so a list with four Bridgets make sure consistency is key as I've always uh, mentioned on the channel one counter catcher very interesting one max potion so a couple of tech cards in here but uh, other than that it's uh, very peculiar we don't see Mallow in this list at all so that is also something to think about new EX to destroy Boswells or uh, maybe Naga Nadal GX's if you come across those and uh, other than that Goliath spot the secondary attacker now we're gonna wake our, make our way to the senior division. We are on the official Pokemon website, by the way. Magnus Peterson, uh, Peterson, yeah, uh, from Denmark. It is Garbodor with Panat. Very peculiar deck, but it was a deck to counter one of the most popular expected decks, and that was like the Baby Boswell Garbodor list. So this was very interesting. Uh, Bennett has a weakness to darkness, so uh, he did not get that out against, of course, Zoroark players. Uh, but he did have, of course, the uh, Garbodor with Trash Lance and shutting down abilities. The thing he did most is uh, using the Jirachi with Stardust, getting rid of special energies while becoming invincible. It's always uh, fun to see. There's a Drumpa Jax, which he started with in his finals match in the second game, I think. There's also Boswell and then a Wobbuffet to shut down every ability except for the Psychic ability. So that is very crazy. Shutting down traits, you can do that with Wobbuffet while you're just setting up. And uh, once you have a ton of uh, supporters in the discard pile, there's a, uh, yeah, Bennett Jax can deal crazy amount of damage with Shadow Chan and then that can get KOs. What else do you see here? Mysterious Treasure, Field Blowers, there's four copies of Floatstone, Parallel City of course. So Parallel City is uh, very, uh, <laughs> as you've seen a lot of play in the World Championships, there's a split 2-2 two -two line, Garbage Tox and then Trash Lance, four Rainbow and then four Psychic. So very strange list, of, uh, very nice to see how you got first place. And then it was the list that I talked about here, uh, Baby Boswell with Trash Lance Garboder, so a one prize attacking deck with of course the Shrine of Punishment. And that is uh, the Banette's job here. Banette got rid of this deck and that was actually kind of uh, neat to see. There's also Sudowoodo with the Roadblock, Octillery in here, so a bunch of ones up. And then of course there's a Regirock. Regirock is a very great way to start your uh, opening hand because if it has a full card attached you deal uh, crazy amounts of damage, Four, 40 for a single energy with strong energies and stuff. Uh, this is uh, insane. So uh, you have Beast Energy, one Psychic Energy. There's, of course, what do we see here? Four Choice Bands. So this is uh, a deck that doesn't like GXs. It's just like that. Two Shrine of Punishments. So that's why we didn't see the Shrine of Punishments a lot. So only two copies. Moving forward, we're going to have the third place winning uh, list from the senior division, Ta Takumi Kai from Japan. And uh, the list again was uh, Boswell Lycanroc. So a lot of Boswell Lycanroc uh, in the senior and junior division. Uh, it's the exact same list that we've seen before. It's very consistent. Only one. Uh, this only has 14 energies. I think the other one had 15 energies. There's a super rod in here to per to get energies back. Uh, three Max Elixirs, then three B string, and just the same. A one one line of Octillery, then a two two line of Lycanroc. So interesting indeed. How many baby Boswells? For Baby Boswells, okay, this guy was also prepared here. Uh, Baby Boswell is becoming way popular than Boswell Jax. Then number four is going to Greninja, Greninja player in the senior division by Matthew uh, Campbell. Uh, uh, this is a crazy list. We've seen it before. No Espion EX, no Chapu Lele, just Greninja Break with Starmie. We do see the 70 HP uh, Frokis, which helped out a ton. The opponent did not get, of course, his uh, Beast Energy. The Frokis would stay alive, or actually they needed Diancy and a strong energy in order to get a one-head KO on Froki, uh, aka the Boswell players. What else do we see? A ton of draw supporters, four and four Cynthia, two Sycamore. So not a lot of discard supporters, but what else do we see here? Four Evo Soda, we've seen this before. Max Potion. I've played Greninja and the Internationals as well, but I didn't include Max Potion. But this is the time where Max Potion was crucial because, of course, a lot of players uh, decided to go with that uh, jet punching shenanigans. And you can just heal off the damage while, of course, you have Starmie to get your energies back. It worked out brilliantly. Uh, we have two enhanced hammers there here. Random receiver. Kind of peculiar to see a random receiver in this list. He definitely wanted to have like a draw supporter, so he did not promote things like Lily at all. Two random receiver to get that Sycamore or uh, to get that Cynthia. And then a uh, choice band and only one rescue stretcher. So, okay. The fifth place winning list in the senior division. We have, wow, what a variety. It's Lycanroc with, uh, we have a Boswell Lycanroc. Benjamin Branch Trevathan. Oh yeah, he should play Trevathan <laughs> with his uh, last name. Uh, United States, Boswell Lycanroc. The same as we've seen um, a bazillion amount of uh, time before, but four Max Elixirs while only running eight basic energies. And also two double Coros energies. Wow, this guy was prepared to use, of course, Lycanroc, uh, uh, the Claw Slash. So very, very nice inclusion. I uh, congratulate you for that. Moving forward, we're gonna have the sixth place winning list, Caleb uh, Banwari from Canada. 
Zoroark Garboder with, of course, the thing we've seen before, Katana, the OP uh, GX card that just gets rid of special energies, and of course, we can uh, rely on Blade GX. We have Latios in this list. Other than that, we've seen everything before. Mallow is in this list, just to note that down. And then uh, one mysterious treasure, Weakness Policy. Weakness Policy is a nice inclusion. A lot of fighting was around. We had Boswell, we had Lycanroc, we have even Zygarde. So Weakness Policy was definitely necessary for Zoroark to survive. Then going to the seventh place list, it's going to be... Galissapod Garboder. Wow, cool. We've seen this uh, uh, as well. We don't see the tech card with the Danny. We do see a Galisopod, a 3-2-1 line, uh, line of Galisopod, then split line again. Two Garbodor, Crash Lines, two Garbodor with the ability block, three Leles. Uh, there's a Buzzwell in here, so Rainbow Energies are key here. A bunch of special energies, and then uh, a bunch of supporters we've seen before. Ace Rolla, two copies of that. Four Guzmas, of course, to reset the first impression of Galisopod. And yeah, special charge to get your uh, energies back. I could uh, appreciate this list from South Korea, Jihan Choi. And then the 8th place winning list, United States Tanner Hurley played Zoroark Garboder. So Zoroark Garboder was uh, played a lot as uh, seen as uh, a lot of uh, players got Zoroark Garboder into the top 8 in the finals. Uh, we also saw that Zoroark Garboder won, so not, not a surprise here. So uh, again, only one ability block, two trash lines. A lot of these lists are pretty similar. This one run the Oranguru from Ultra Prism to get back resources for DCE 3 Psychic. What else do we see? Delinquent. Very awesome to see that. If they play Shrine of Punishment, Delinquent just disrupt their hand. Uh, also uh, great against things like Brocklet Hill. You can just discard a Stadium card and then uh, the opponent has to discard three cards from their hand. Very awkward situation for the opponent. Two copies of Bridget, so no three copies. There is a bunch of things in here actually. One self. Look at the ones off. One Choice Band, one Max Potion, one Counter Catcher, one Enhanced Hammer, one Evo Soda. Wow, bunch of ones off. So uh, this actually worked out for him. So interesting to see. Okay, now that we are through the senior division, we're gonna end with the junior division. And that the, the winning list was uh, Nahito Inoi from Japan. Boswell like a rock. It was actually Boswell like a rock mirror match in the finals. I've watched that as well. So all the things we've seen before. Oh, Fighting Fury Bell. That is a new inclusion for uh, the Boswell uh, like a rock list. I do uh, enjoy the inclusion of Fighting Fury Bell. Having the HP from Baby Boswell to 170 is very awkward for the opponent. So uh, also uh, the Boswell Jacks will have. 230 HP, very hard to uh, destroy. And also, Fighting Fury Belt gets the damage output for uh, the Jet Punch to 40 with Strong Energy 60 with a Dynasty 80. Oh, so he can destroy any weak basic Pokemon. So I and definitely think it's a great list. And the uh, second place, the runner up here is Sebastian Enriquez from the United States. Uh, also, Boswell Lycanroc. What do we see here? Again, uh, yeah, a similar list. And we don't see Fighting Fury Belt here, we do see Choice Band. So, okay. Moving forward, the third place winning list is a Belgian fella, is this Rune? Uh, hey, was it a girl or a boy? I don't know. Rune can be used for two, uh, yeah, it doesn't even matter. He, it's a Belgian fella. Oh, yeah, Belgian player, Rune uh, Hyromance. Uh, just gonna check that out later. If I, uh, yeah, just gonna check that out later. So, Boswell Lycanroc, again, so a lot of Boswell Lycanroc in the junior division. So, what do we see? B strings, Max Elixir. So, all these lists are pretty similar. We've seen the archetype of Boswell Lycanroc before. Everybody decides to run a 1 1 line of artillery and a 2 2 line of Lycanroc. Lycanroc was very important, and uh, we don't see a, a peculiar double Carlos energy in this list. Moving forward, the four place winning list is Waltner Hilburton from the United States. Zoroar Garboder. Wow. What do we see in the final list? Zoroar Garboder. Boswell like a rock, and there was one Molomar version in the uh, the Master Division. So, hmm. and Rayquaza. Right, don't forget about Rayquaza. But uh, not a lot of juniors play Rayquaza. It's a little bit harder to play, and uh, Boswell like a rock is a little bit easier, I guess. So, what do we got? Oruguru or Research Management Latios again a split line. Only one Garbage Toxin in this list, and what else do we see? That we haven't seen before. Two enhanced hammers, so a lot of the uh, players were ready, of course, to uh, discard special energies. Two Bridgets, two Guzmot, Parallel City again, Delinquent, Delinquent, and again a bunch of ones off Evo Soda, Counter Catcher, Max Potion. Counter Catcher and Max Potion were played a lot. Then fifth place winning list, Japan, by Koto Onohara. He played Nagata Del Beast Box. Woo! Beast Box, I uh, didn't see the matches, but uh, fifth place, a good thing to know that Nagata Del. Uh, Finally made his way in the top eight. Uh, this is in the junior division, but I'm happy regardless. So what do we see? We have B strings, of 
of course we need P-strings. Where are they? Do we even see? Yeah, here they are. Four P-strings. Why do we need four P-strings to set up Dust Mane, Necrois, my Jack? So four P-strings, 12 metal energies, and a ton of supporter cards like Cynthia. We have Anne, we have Sycamore. We have, we have Kukui, Tate and Eliza. Ultra Space gets everything out. And you have actually have a lot of things to work with here. We have the Dust Mane, which can use the Dust Shot to snipe. The Cardano to just discard special energies. Only two stack attacker. It's very peculiar to see in this list. Most decks run three copies or even four copies but this list came out on top in uh, the uh, top five in the junior division next up is benjamin bossard from the united states boswell garboder interesting to see that i do like boswell garboder and uh, doesn't shut down the abilities baby boswell oh no 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 it is baby boswell with the garboder and shrine of punishments where are they four copies that's what i expected uh, an anti-GX deck, so uh, against GXs is very great, great special energies back in the, de in the deck, strong energies, rainbow energies, so other than that, it's a very nice list, we have Octillery, we have Baby Boswell, and of course the Trash Land, so uh, we've seen this archetype, we have not made a video about it, but it was around in Worlds, seventh place goes to Brazil, Latin America, getting some love here, Joana, Joao Gabriel Penteado, okay, that is hard to pronounce, we have uh, the Baby Boswell with Garboder and Shrine of Punishment. Okay, very similar like the uh, list before, uh, with the only inclusion that he run... Uh, hmm, two Oranguru Intrux. Do we see that in the previous list? No Orangurus. Okay, this guy didn't run Octillery, so it seemed he ran the Oranguru with uh, the uh, Intrux. I also run one copy of the Garbotoxin to shut down abilities. Next is Zoroark Garboder... Like a rock? What? What is this? South Korea, Sihan, oh, he actually decided to merge everything together, Zoroark, Lycanroc, we've seen this before, but also Garboder, so he was prepared for every matchup, uh, also Mewtwo and Latios, a bunch of psychic types in here, strong energies, rainbow energies, and double cars energy, so all the rest we've seen before, we don't see a lot, only 3 Ants, 3 Bridgets, 2 Cynthia on the Sycamore, Ace Roll, so no Enhanced Hammer, so it seems, okay, here they are, 1 Enhanced Hammer, but he decided to merge the list, that is very nice to see, a 2-2 two, two line of Lycanroc, and then a 3-1-2 split between the Garbodor, Garbodor, Toxin. Oh yeah, that was the 8th place winner. So, to conclude the World Championships, Zoroark Garboder was on top. The uh, Baby Boswell Garboder, also very great. Rayquaza was great and Malamar, and then some rogue decks like the Stack Attack and Naganadal that uh, came out. Uh, also, I'm gonna check the, the Master ch Championships once again. So, we also see Zygarde popping up, so other than that, Boswell Lycanroc, Rayquaza, Zoroark Garboder and then Baby Boswell Garboder were the best decks, also Zoroark Galicepa. That was it for the World Championships recap, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you learned a bit about the top place winning decks. You can find the list in the description below by checking out the link of the official Pokemon website. Thank you all for watching our TCG video on my channel, be sure to demolish the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more Pokemon TCG content. Also be sure to check out my top 10 best cards from the Dragon Majesty set, which I uh, actually took a lot of time to uh, yeah, make the list, so definitely check that out, you'll definitely know what cards to expect in the Dragon Majesty set, which comes out next week, which is awesome. Anyhow. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you guys soon enough. Peace out.